Welcome back to the channel. We have this interesting question that says find all values of x given that x minus 4 all raised to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. In order for us to find all values of x, our first step will be to move x to the power of 4 to the left hand side. So we have x minus 4 all raised to power 4 and as this crosses to the left it becomes minus x to the power of 4 and this is equal to 0. Well this expression can also be written as x minus 4 all raised to power 2 and then we open a bigger bracket and raise to power 2 because from indices powers multiply so 2 times 2 gives back 4 minus now we can write this as x squared all raised to power 2 for the same reason as this and this is equal to 0. Now we have something that looks like the famous identity which is difference of two squares. So the identity of difference of two squares can be written as for example when I have a squared minus b squared this is same as a minus b times a plus b and when you compare this to this you see that our a is what we have inside of the big bracket and our b is what we have here which is x squared so writing it in this form we have a minus b so inside of this big bracket we have our a which is x minus 4 all raised to power 2 that's our a minus b our b is our x squared good so this is inside of one bracket which is this times the other bracket so a plus b which will be x minus 4 all squared that's our a plus b which is x squared and close bracket this is equal to 0 and when we have two things multiplying to give 0 that means it is either one of them is 0 so it is either what I have here which is x minus 4 all raised to power 2 minus x squared is equal to 0 or what I have here which is x minus 4 all raised to power 2 plus x squared is equal to 0. Now we're going to be solving this one after the other. We start with this one. We'll call this our case 1. So case 1. So for case 1 I'm going to be expanding this bracket. So on expansion I'll have x squared minus 8x plus 16. Expanding this bracket minus I have x squared and this is equal to 0. Now simplifying further you see that this x squared cancels out this x squared because it subtracts out. Now leaving behind negative 8x plus 16 to be equal to 0. Now we can move 16 to the right hand side so that we have negative 8x to be equal to our 16 crosses to the right it becomes negative 16. Now to get x we divide both sides by negative 8. So I'll divide the left hand side by negative 8, divide the right hand side by negative 8. So negative 8 cancels out, leaving behind x to be equal to negative cancels out negative. So 16 divided by 8, we're going to be having 2. And I'm sure this is the only real solution for this question. Now let's go back to our case 2. Here is our case 2. So we need to expand this bracket. Let's do that. On expanding this, we're going to be having x squared minus 8x plus 16. Plus, this is x squared and this is equal to 0. Now, simplifying further, x squared plus x squared, that will be 2x squared minus 8x and then plus 16 equal to 0. Now notice that 2 can divide through, so I'm going to be dividing through by 2. So divide here by 2, divide this by 2, and divide this by 2. 
also divide 0 by 2. So 2 cancels out 2, so we have x squared minus 8x divided by 2. We're going to be having 4x plus, now 16 divided by 2 is 8. And this is equal to 0 divided by 2 is actually 0. Now we can use the quadratic formula to solve this, where a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 8. Now using the quadratic formula, we're looking for x. So the value of x, so let me say this is a third and fourth third value of x. This will be equal to minus b. That will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that is negative 4 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So simplifying further, we have x to be equal to negative times negative makes positive. So we have 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared is actually 16. Minus 4 times 1 times 8 is 32. All over 2 times 1, that will be 2. Now this simplifies into x equal to 4 plus or minus. Now this becomes the square root of 16 minus 32 is negative 16. All over the denominator, which is 2. So this is x equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of. Now negative 16 is same as 16 times negative 1 all over 2. Now we're going to be breaking this down to the lowest. So we have 4 plus or minus. Now this can be separated into the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1 all over 2. Now moving forward we have x to be equal to 4 plus or minus. The square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of negative 1 is i, a complex number all over 2. Now we can separate the fraction so we have the value of x to be equal to 4 over 2 plus or minus 4i over 2. Now simplifying, we're breaking it down. 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus or minus. Now 4i divided by 2 is 2i. So there are two values of x from here. We have the second value of x which is 2 plus, which is a positive side, 2i. Why the third value of x is 2. Now take the negative minus 2i. So in total, we have three values of x where the first value is the real number that is 2. So one real number and two complex numbers. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.